Well, here we are at Westpac Stadium the day before the uh, Wellington Phoenix's game against Melbourne City, joined by Wellington Phoenix coach Ernie Merrick. Uh, Ernie, a tough road trip for the team uh, back home. How's the squad feeling ahead of tomorrow's clash? It was a tough trip, but they've got to be able to cope with that if they're going to be a finals team. And um, I'm disappointed we didn't come back with any points. Um, probably should have against Adelaide and maybe got something more out of the game against Perth. But if you concede a goal in two minutes, it's always going to be tough. So when we look ahead to tomorrow's game, injury situation first of all, who won't be considered for the Melbourne City game? We, we've got no major injuries, but we've got... Uh, um, uh, Hicksy has had a groin strain, he's coming good, he's not quite ready yet. Josh, Josh Brindle South is the same, so he's unavailable. Um, uh, Vince Lee has been carrying a, a, a sort of slight tear in his calf for a while now. He was, I thought, quite exceptional against Perth. He and Riera did a great job in the middle, it was up front, we, we didn't get the service to the strikers, but Vince has been playing well, but he's, uh, he just feels it today in our fitness test for him so we're not going to risk him because if he tears it badly he'll be out for several weeks so I'd rather he be out for one or two weeks rather than four or five or six weeks which is gives Alex Rodriguez his chance he's been as you know buzzing at training and he was outstanding with the reserve team in the ESB last week so it gives us an opportunity to bring Alex back into the midfield. Further up um, you've got Michael McGlinchey coming back I presume he'll go into the 11. Roy Krishna's there Nathan Burns, is that a possible front three for you tomorrow? We've got some good combinations. I won't give away too much, but Michael McGlinchey was a huge miss against uh, Perth. We really need to get the service to the strikers, and he's probably the best in the league at providing good quality balls forward. So he'll come back into the starting lineup and uh, hopefully deliver some good balls up front. Roy Krishna has been playing extremely well and at Nathan Burns, so I'm not going to drop Roy. He needs rewarded for his. Uh, for the way he's playing, not only training, but the way he's playing week in, week out. So uh, he'll he'll hold his place. When you look at Melbourne City, they're a team that score early goals. I think they've got. I think I saw a stat that if you stop the game after half an hour, they'd be top of the league. Um, they score early goals. Do you need to come out defensively solid to start tomorrow? I think that the first ten minutes and the last ten minutes is a crucial part of any game. You can't if you can see the early the other team get their tails up, they've got confidence to start knocking it around and they can come at you, you can't defend so much because you've got to get back on even terms. And it's the same at the end of a game, you've got to control the last ten minutes. But they are a good team, they've recruited well, they've got Partelou, Miller, they've got Damien Duff on the wing. Uh, they've got a solid team all round. I think they've been a bit unlucky with some of the results, but really it's about how we play and if we play to, to the way we know we can play and, and we score goals, that's what it's all about. I know your focus is always one game at a time, but after Melbourne City, it's Newcastle away and then the Central Coast Mariners at Eden Park. A, a little run of three games where maybe you target seven, perhaps nine points? I never give them a target regarding number of points, but what I do say is we've got to play a brand of football that gives us the opportunity to win games. We're not going to play away from home for a draw. The last time I did that was Adelaide for the last 15-20 uh, minutes. We lost our senior players like Bonavazia, Burns, Rodriguez was off and we nearly got there. And, and that was an excep exceptional circumstance. But generally, it's about going out there to play for wins. And yes, it's away from ho several games away from home, but that's what the league's all about. If you didn't like travelling and the frequent flyer points, you wouldn't place for the Phoenix. <laughs> Just finally, your reserve team now, well entrenched in the ASB Premiership. They had a couple of games. I saw you there last week as they played Waitakere. It's a great innovation, isn't it? With us now controlling our reserve team, we can play the two 15-year-olds, the two 16-year-olds, young Magari, we can give uh, Josh Brindle South and Ray Denton and Rufa the opportunity to play regularly, players to come back from injuries. And I have to say, the game against Waitakere was exceptional. It was one of the best ASB games of football I've ever seen, and the average age of the team would be about 18. So I would urge all of our fans, not only to follow us, uh, the first team, but go and watch our ASB team. They are quite exceptional to watch, and there's so many good young players there. That's the future of the Phoenix. Thanks, Ernie. Coach of the Wellington Phoenix, Ernie Merrick. The Phoenix play Melbourne City tomorrow. Westpac Stadium, 5 o'clock kickoff.